Hindi mo maintindihan Kung ba't ikaw na papagripang Nang halip ng kamalasan Kinapangumarahan ang hatanan Para lamang makilata Sa kaitaas na asang muli Kinaibigan Huwag kang magpapasida For game number three Thank you for joining us this is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Javi Palanya and Sidney Crespo. Knock down the shot after that two-man game. Michael Wico hearing the cheers of the crowd. Scramble inside, no foul called. And here comes Panganiban on the run. Nico Panganiban is fouled. Oh, and right away an altercation between Jeff Tahonera and Michael Wico. Kalisaan trying his best to push away his teammate. We have seen Rudy Distrito on his feet in an FPBL game, which is just a testament as to how physical it has been already in this opening minute. There you see the altercation between Rico and Tahonera, and it doesn't stop there. Barely a minute into this game, nine minutes and one second of time on the game clock, and right away, the destroyer already up on his feet. Uh, look at that, Michael Calesa doing a good job of trying to push away Jeff Taunera from trouble. He Jeff plays like an escorcher on the court for his teammates. Oh, he's not called King of the North for nothing. But he has made his way here in Palayan City as now he's not happy with the referees. And the call was a technical foul on Jeff Taunera for violation of the uniform protocol. And I think Coach Randy is mad that hindi mo na binigyan ng warning si Jeff. So Byron is at the line to shoot the bonus. Nico in game one. In here with Nueva is with because I'm sure Nueva Isia will try their best. Not number two, maybe please don't let me go. They had a lot of turnovers, which San Juan was able to capitalize in that game. Which points in nine boards in game number three on the shot clock. Michael, someone has to fire. Josh will do, and that's a three-pointer. Good defense by Nueva Isia. Here they are on the counter. Colliado for three. Bombs away. Points and eight boards in game number one. Ten on the shot clock. Nico Panganiban backing down. He passes. Kalisan could not control the ball. Then he shoots and scores off the glass and in. Side, but force it up on the left was Zakwa. Two-man game. Chris Vuitton. Step back. Three-pointer. That's good. Under four minutes to go in the opening frame. No hope. That's his first field goal in this series, but that was also a tough fall for Adrian. He looked to have hurt his shoulder. Let's hope it's not as bad. Let's see what happened. He tried to turn the corner, got the step on Villarias, but Macaloni was there to get him off balance. Now we know that Whenever someone is airborne, it doesn't take a lot of force to get them out balanced. That's really dangerous if you think about it. And you see that Tokum is okay. He goes to Kalisahan. Face up, jumper, air ball, rebound, and the putback for EG Boy. Now the ball is with Will Macaloni. Lefty versus lefty. Macaloni will score. Tokum. No foul there. Good defense by Macaloni. Forward pass. Nice escape by CB. I thought that was going to result in a turnover, but look at that again. This was the stop. Macaloni coming up with that play, and then ball ending up with Taganas, who gets it to Chris Vuitton, who somehow, someway, is able to catch that basketball against the defense of Marwin Taiwan. Points were made in the clutch. No Mabu scorer from the outside. AC had eight points in game one, the two threes. CB with a second three-pointer. Boy, you still gotta give it here to Adrian Dokum. A lot of players will be scared to go inside and attack the paint. You see here, Chris Bitoon snaking his way past the defense and giving it up on the roll to Will Macaloni. Here's Will. Have to put in as much effort in generating baskets because he has a guy like Chris Bitoon making that happen for him. And here's Adrian on the run. No passes. So Verano will fire. That's a corner three. Now goes to the line. Remembers the San Juan where he made that banker. Down to six seconds. Marwin against Wiko. Taiwan spins and kicks. No will have to fire. And he will beat the buzzer.
He did average 12 points per game. Has been one of the guys na in, in what has been a new look San Juan squad this year. Turnover. AC Soberano pass to Nokum and Adrian scores again. First free throw shooting, by the way, is at 8 out of 11 for San Juan. San Juan wins, they will take on Pampanga in the North Division Finals. If Nueva Ecija wins, we return here on Monday as Adrian Nokum just put on the skates for Nueva Ecija. We haven't even got through the halfway point of this second quarter. That's a nice looking jumper from Michael Calisan. Ends up because you think about it pound for pound, never see a totally has that advantage in this. A younger team at that here in San Juan. Panganiban will kick that ball out. Marwin for three. That's good. None, and they still are holding on to a lead. That's long. Rebound, Kalisan. Michael saves the ball. Good effort by Kalisan. Nokum drives. He's met hard by Jake Oliado. Way after that whistle was blown. Wow, that was a takedown by Jay Goliado with, with his hands up at that. They're number one in the league in assists, but they're also one of the worst in turning the ball over. As Pam Boy makes that jumper. Minsan, mahaba playing time, minsan hindi. You know, it's his defense that's been a big liability. That three points the old fashioned way. Nice lob on the other end by Adrian Noko finding. Iji Boy Moika, out of 8 so far from the line. 50% for San Juan. So. Happy birthday to Quezon's Mark Pangilinan and Imus's Mac Macardona. Happy birthday to you, sirs. We truly miss you here in this league. There's the pass to Nokum. Adrian flies and misses. Kalisaan again. No putback, but he recovers. Orlan from the corner. That's his first field goal. Abulak trying to muscle his way through. Nice health defense by Adrian Nokum. Able to produce that outside shot. Look at Adrian Nokum flying out of nowhere. Villarias actually was able to. Nico Panganiban will drive. There's the pass to Tahonera. Nice fake by Jeff. And he was able to deceive Jonathan Oilon. And seven seconds to go. Wamar stepping back. Three pointer. No foul there. Rebound Pagsanhan. And he will lose time. you actually say that this game is a lot more physical? Oh yeah, definitely. For game number three, Palma goes to Macaloni. Strong side for Will. And he finishes. If you notice, make sorry. If you notice, the leading scorers at the half were set one, all frontline players. But inside scoring as well with the numbers that we were able to present. Here was the drive. And Tahonera yeah, giving that forearm to the neck of Will Macaloni. That Definitely should account for something. Uh, this could be an unsportsmanlike foul. It is. I'm, I'm actually trying to remember now. With our playing days, have we ever gotten hit on the neck? I know it. And that gives even more reason for San Juan to try and finish off Muebesia. Orlan Omar is forcing things for San Juan. And his teammates also have been playing very well. That's a tough step back. But Adrian Nokum just made it. Bill Macaloni. Now they go to Red Spalma. He pulls up. Nice looking jumper. The other end we go. Nico Panganiban. They have numbers. Vito Kalisaan for the easy two. That Orlan Omar is the main guy for San Juan. Would you say that Chris Piton has been the main guy for Nueva Ecija in these playoffs as Nico Panganiban scores for San Juan? And that being said, is there also an argument as Panganiban scores again with a tough pull? Is what could be a dynasty. For well, they looked at the Rice Vanguards as the standard of the league. And for them to have made these roster changes, for them to have... By that man on your screens, Michael Kalesan, outplaying all of the bigger names here in this game. With Orlan Momar being shut down by Nueva Ecija, it's Michael Calisan, the number two guy from the baseline. As the ball went out of bounds, man down. That's a foul on Byron. Uh, it seems that Nokum was also hit in the neck. Adrian as of this moment. And there you see the hit by Byron. Yeah, that indefinitely was a foul. Panganiban has seven to work with. Nico at the corner, screened by Michael. There's the roller. Kalisan dribbled the ball. 
off of apparently Will Macaloni. All right, there's going to be a reversal. So Nevesia will have possession. Michael Vico inbounds. Here comes San Juan. Womar pushing, Womar dishing, Kalisaan finishing. 61 48. Biton passes to the left. Michael Rico feet inside. Nice look to Will. Can Nueva Ecija do it again? They are fighting for survival in the 2023 MPBL playoffs. Kalisaan with another back shot. By Kalisaan, unfortunately, he was able to bang it off the glass. 23 points now for Kalisaan. There's a man down. It's Noko. He seems to be hurting. You gotta see where he got hit. Is he holding on to his ribs? Yeah. He seems to be in so much pain. Will Macaloni wants a technical for a flop. As well, it's not easy getting hit on your ribs. He's been taking a lot of punishment. There There's the go. swing by Byron. Still hasn't made a three. And he continues to miss. There's a foul called on the loose ball. Was it on Rico? Referees will be reviewing the previous sequence. See what happened. This was the Byron miss. Zakwa already was getting into it with Michael Rico. That box out play. A lot of swings there. It's going to be in their favor. So Zach Wang will be called with a personal fight for Nueva Ecija, season of our league. Opponents in the North Division Finals. Marwin Taiwan drives it, kicks. Pak Aniban from the corner. That's a three. A big test of Kat. Second free throw. He passes to AC. Nice fake. And there was a foul on the floor. Rano. His first one is scoring eight in game one, and there you see the face again of Senator Jingoy Estrada. Line. Will Macaloni against E.G. Boy Mojica. That's a mismatch. Macaloni's double team. Nice escape. Sorry, miss. Two free throws. Always does. Same play. Different look now on the screen. And that's a steal. Numbers for Nevaisia. Bito on. Basket and one. Good trap right there on Marwin Taiwan. And here, one man to beat. Went up for the layup with his offhand. That's definitely not a good sign. San Juan's already depleted as it is with Tahonera out of this game. And we already mentioned William Franca has not seen action in this series. What seems to have happened there? Do you think the Nomar on his drive? He almost lost it. Nokom recovers and misses. Rebound, Nico. Panganiban goes to Nokom. That's a good look from the corner and a three-pointer for Adrian Nokom. Of hoisting it up from the outside. San Juan is now 8 out of 15 from downtown as Will Macaloni answers back. Drives, one-hander. That's too strong. Ball tapped away in favor of Neva Isia. And now San Juan's upset. Looks like Coach Randy will be challenging this. So both challenges have now been used in game number two. It looks to be San Juan who will be getting possession. The challenge was... The ball bounced high off the glass. There you see it. Yeah, very clear. It was off Will Macalone. Nice fake. Culiado to Iloan. His three-pointer is good! Made a three-pointer to end the third frame. Rebound, Uiloan. Weak on the run. Bounce pass. Mabula almost lost it. Then he recovers. And now it's only a five-point difference. Nokum fakes. Nokum drives. Nice speed to Zach who misses. Come the defending champions. Michael Wigo will attack. He misses as well. Wow, what an exchange of misses coming from both squads. There's one man sealing inside. Mabulak taking down Nokum. Now they go to Macaloni. Nice fake. The crowd is definitely loving it here at the Nueva Ecija Coliseum. Good read by Will Macaloni putting the ball on the deck. San Juan not quite sure what they were going to do defensively. They
If Nueva Ecija wins this game, we return to Palayan City on Monday for Game 3. No basket for San Juan. That's a good tap by Villarias. A three-pointer for Orlan. That's good! This is the domain of Orlan Mamar. Against Villarias. Adrian will pull up. He's had that shot all night long. As we go down the stretch. I like that point. Escalisaan is denied inside, but he's got his own board, and now he's blocked by Will Macaloni. Uh, the ball is with Michael Mabula against Joseph Ubalde. Champion versus champion. That's a turnover. And the charge. Unnecessary contact there by Joseph Ubalde. Already did a good job. Uh, Staying in front of Mabula as he tried to move past you in the post. We just heard that E.G. Boy Mojica will not be able to return in this game. Baseline inbound, pass to Collado. Jay will score. Feeds to Ubalde, who misses. Rebound Kalisan. He turns around and scores. Uyloan, high low, Macaloni is fouled. There's the offensive rebound of Michael Calisan, who has been outworking all of the bigs of Nueva Ecija all night long. Total rebounds, 33 to 31. Then a lot of patience. For patient. It ordered really only him who truly understood to the dot what Coach Jerson Cabirtes wanted from a floor general. Oh my goodness, that's another answer from the Sun One Knights. Nico Panganiban will now go to Adrian Novo. Pass inside, Kalisan fakes. Nice move by Mike. Here, once again, they isolate Adrian Novo. Slowly creeping in from behind the defense on the baseline. Macaloni caught ball watching as well as Jay Collado. Another easy stab inside para kay Kalisan. 27 points already for Mike and Kalisan in this game. Fight for survival in our 2023 playoffs. Uyloan for three. That's good! Nevercia is undefeated here in Palayan City this season. They're 7-0. But obviously, right now, it's looking dangerous for them. This was the play in question. There you see, that's a close call. It is apparently off of Orlan Omar, so Nevercia will have possession here. Let's see what they can do. 89 seconds to go. Villarias. Trip, recovery, Palma for three. Yes, sir. There's Panganiban in trouble. And he throws the ball onto Nokum. Nokum will attack. Adrian Nokum misses. That could have been a travel earlier by Panganiban. Byron for three. In and out. And now the ball is with the franchise player of the San Juan Knights. They go to Zach. Mismatch. Zach Wang attacking. Triple team. Kick out. Taiwan for three. Oh, my goodness. Marvin Taiwan comes alive in the clutch again. A three-pointer knocked down by Taiwan. Missed by Bitoon. Byron for three. That's short. 36 seconds to go. It looks like Nueva Ecija is not going to foul anymore. Kalisan will attack. There's the foul. And not the best of fouls. It's two plus one for Michael Kalisan. What a performance. 18 rebounds. There's Jonathan Uyloan. They go to Palma, who lost the ball. Recovery here. Byron goes to Jonathan. Uyloan from downtown. That's good off the glass. 17 seconds remaining. Marwin will be fouled. Uyloan will fire. That's no good, and that should do it. The San Juan Knights officially eliminate the defending champions, the nearby Sierra Rice Vanguards. And San Juan will now advance to the North Division Finals to take on the Pampanga Giant Lanterns. And for the first time in these playoffs, it's not going to be Orlan Mamar who is the best player of San Juan. 30 points, 18 rebounds, 3 steals, 11 out of 19 from the field. How could you not give player of the game honors to Michael Calesan playing his best game of the season yet?